I'm going to show you how to use a third-party service called IFTTT to automatically publish new posts uh, or new videos from Trading Central from a YouTube playlist into your Facebook page. Let's get started. I'll sign up with my Gmail account. Of course, you would sign up with whatever account um, you've created your IFTTT.com um, sign in with. Entering my account now. Now this is a pretty simple user interface. There are a number of uh, default applications that are recommended to you, but I'm gonna start by creating a new applet. I go into the section called My Applet, and on the right you'll see a button for New Applet. I'll press that to get started. Now you'll notice that this service has simplified right down to this one statement, if this, then that. If something updates over here, then publish something over there. So we'll start by clicking this blue word, this, to add something. So if we have an update to, let's say, an RSS feed that we get from YouTube, um, so I'll click on that. So if we have a new feed item, so I'm going to choose that, if we have a new feed item from this URL that I get from a YouTube playlist, then we're going to trigger a post to our Facebook page. Now if you look at this URL, it's a very specific format for YouTube. YouTube.com slash feeds slash videos dot XML question mark um, and then it goes on to uh, show the playlist ID and we can help give you that information. So when a new feed item is posted to this YouTube playlist, we're going to create this trigger. So it's updated this sentence for me, if RSS, then that. Let's define what that is. So what I'd like to do is if there are updates to that RSS feed, I'd like to post, uh, post an update to my Facebook page for my company. So I'm going to click on Facebook page. And it's going to ask me to connect. This is where you authenticate into Facebook using the account that has administrative permissions to your Facebook page. Let's go ahead and connect. I'm entering my password and now it's made the connection to my Facebook page just like that. When there's an update to that RS, RSS feed then I would like to um, create a link post. So I will select that item. The link URL will be the URL the entry URL from the RSS feed. I'm not going to change anything there. They've automatically figured out how to pull out that link from the RSS feed to the video. And in my message, I'm going to add an ingredient, which is the entry title. This will give me the title of the new video. Um, I could edit this uh, to say, you know, here is my latest video, and then give the title. I will create the action, and now creating this app has completed. It has a description for the app, if new feed item, from the YouTube URL, I'm going to simplify that, from TC YouTube playlist, then create a link post on the Trading Central Facebook page. This is just uh, text to help remind you what your little applet is for. Uh, and I will click finish. And easy as pie, we have a new service set up to trigger those posts. Now what's interesting about this interface is I can scroll down to the pot bottom of any applet that I've created and it will tell me when it's been run. It usually takes a few hours for these to activate and start running and then you'll see the posts coming out. Uh, but you can actually come back to ifttt.com and you can check whether it has been run or what 
is the last time that it's run. Anyway, I hope this helps you automatically publish our Trading Central videos to your social media channels.